Hey everybody, it's Read Comics 81 and I got a pretty good stack of books to show. Uh, I'm going to start off with this. Can you even see this comic? This is uh, Marvel Comics uh, Bubble Funnies number one from 1981 and uh, this is near mint uh, still in the package it still has the bubble gum inside and uh, I'll show you the back here there were six issues of this this is from 1981 I don't remember if I just said that or not but uh, yeah there were four Marvel comics and two Archie comics that made up the six issue set and uh, I got this for five bucks uh, including shipping on eBay thought it was really cool uh, I think these are the smallest comic books ever made. Now I know there were uh, some little picture books that came out in the 60s or 70s and they were smaller than this, uh, but those weren't actually comics because they didn't, it wasn't like comic book format, it was more of just like pictures and words, so it was more of like a storybook format. So yeah, happy to get this in my collection, this little oddity. I'll probably try to add the other five issues as well. I uh, went to an antique mall and was happy to find this, X-Men 25. This is the error version. It's got this uh, holograph here that is pretty much completely purple. You can't see what's in there. That's how you know it's the error. If it was the non-error, it would be green and you would clearly be able to see Gambit uh, in that holograph. So I paid $8 for this. This is a $25, $30 book. And not too easy to find, so happy to get that. Um, not to be too repetitive, I know I've showed this book off quite a few times, but uh, they had $15 on this. I talked them down to $10. Uh, probably a, it's a high, higher grade copy, probably a 8 So hard to pass that up for that amount. And I grabbed this off of eBay. This is the Whitman version. Uh, this is the first comic book appearance of Night Tiger, or, uh, White Tiger. And uh, price was 50 I talked him down to $40. Uh, so happy to get this in the PC. So now I have all of the versions of this book. Uh, and I just need to get the uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu with the first actual appearance of White Tiger. That's a pricey book, though, so that's going to be a while. All right, stopped into a collectible shop to get this, Cyberfrog 2 Commemorative Edition. Uh, this is a $20 book, paid two for this. I'm trying to get all the Cyberfrog books I can get. And while I was there, I was really delighted to find this book, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 1, the newsstand edition, paid $2 for this. <clears throat> Funny story about this book. Well, not really funny, kind of sad. Um, but this diner that I used to go to used to have a magazine, not magazine, a newspaper rack up front by the register. And they had stacks and stacks of this book that they would give away for free to the kids and whoever else wanted them. And uh, every time I was there, I'd grab a few because I was teaching a comics workshop for kids and I'd give these to the kids. But... Man, if I still had access to, to those stacks of books, that would be a lot of money. But happy to get this for $2. All right. I actually had some luck at Second and Charles for the first time in a long time. And uh, picked up a nice little stack of books there. Um, these next few on my show were $2 each. High grade copies, Avengers 208, nothing special about this, just a book that I had when I was a kid. Would have been awesome if it was the newsstand, but I'll take the direct copy for two bucks. Also picked this up, just a really cool Mike Zett cover, Cap 258. And another cover that I like a lot, Ghost Rider 67. This has a little stain on the bottom back cover, but for two bucks I'm not going to complain. Okay, also picked up Omega the Unknown, number four. Uh, just one I needed for that run for $2. Uh, also for $2, West Coast Avengers 4, first appearance of Master Pandemonium. This book I was happy to find, except I should have looked it over better before I bought it. Strange Tales 179, hot book right now, first appearance of Pip the Troll. And I paid five for this, but 
Didn't notice it till I got home, but uh, it's got a nice big rip up there on the top corner, and it's held together with some tape on the inside of the book, and uh, some spine wear. I don't know if it was worth five bucks, but I grabbed it anyway. All right. Um, was looking for this set and was very happy to find it in high grade for two dollars a piece. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 406. <clears throat> this is the first appearance of an Omega-level mutant named Hyperstorm. Now, he is the son of... Make sure I get this right. He's the son of Franklin Richards and... Oh, man, I want to say... Oh, gosh, is it Jean Grey? I don't know. He's... He's the son of um, two powerful mutants from an alternate timeline or something like that. And he's a very, very powerful mutant. This is his first appearance. And uh, 407, I think, might be his origin. If it's not that, it's 408. I forget which one. But yeah, I picked up those three for a total of $6. So happy to get that. Uh, you never know, Hyperstorm could end up in the MCU with, with the FF coming and all these different timelines and stuff. So, uh, yeah, if I were you guys, if you could find this book in high grade for like a dollar or two, which probably shouldn't be too hard, I wouldn't hesitate to pick that up. You can find it cheap. And there's also a newsstand version that I'm on the lookout for. Another thing about this book I think is really funny. Look at that itsy bitsy tiny little comics code. That thing is tiny. Anyway, moving right along. Found this for $2. Another copy of Fantastic Four 570. First appearance of the Council of Reeds. This is a $20, $30 book right now. Some speculation on that group of characters. Also, shout out to Daz, the Key Chaser. He's been showing this book off lately. It's a book that I used to own and got rid of it, but uh, Daz put it back on my radar. I grabbed another copy of this. This is the first cameo appearance of Old Man Logan. A uh, $15 book in high grade. All right. Um, was really happy to find this. They had a huge run of Marvel Age at Second and Charles. Not the complete run, but darn near. And they were all listed at $2 a piece, or priced at $2 a piece, rather. And found a couple of good ones. Uh, this number six here is the first preview appearance of Beta Ray Bill. This goes for $25, $30, all the way up to like $40 on a good day. So happy to get that for two bucks. And really happy to find this. I actually let out an audible gasp when I saw this. A uh, high-grade copy of Marvel Age number 12. Uh, preview appearance of Spider-Man's black costume. Preview appearance of Secret Wars. This easily goes for $50. And uh, I actually own a copy of this, but this is an upgrade, so really happy about that. The only thing about it is it's got a little ding. I'm not sure if you can even see it. Not ding, really, but a slight bend on that uh, upper corner there. Otherwise, really nice condition. Okay, I'm going to close this video out with some pickups from Time Travelers. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I've got one more book. Uh, also went to another Second and Charles. Only found one book, which is not surprising because they never really have anything. I just stopped there because it's on the way to hit the other one. And I was really happy to find this, though. Um... Handbook of the Marvel Universe Master Edition number 20. Got this for $2. And uh, I don't come across these very often. And when I do, they're usually like 4 or $5. And people want stupid money for these on eBay. So to get this for $2 was really nice. And I think I need five or six more of these. And I will have the entire set complete. Then I can start filling in my binders. So looking forward to that. All right. Now I'm going to close out the rest of this video with some Time Traveler's finds. found quite a few books there. I'm not going to show them all, just a few. Um, 
working on the Marvel Team Up Run, found 143, New Stand Edition, Spidey and Star Fox. I just really like this cover. I like the colors. I like the composition. To me, this is just a beautiful cover. Another book I didn't want to pay $10 for on eBay, so happy I waited and found it. Um, here's another first appearance, Mighty Thor 395. This is the first appearance of this group of characters here, the Earth Force. Uh, this is Earth Lord. Uh, I don't know the other two uh, characters' names, but yeah, I found this for a dollar fifty, high grade. So happy about that. All right. Um, this is an upgrade. Nice high grade copy of this Marvel Team Up sixty eight. Uh, first appearance of a character named Despair. People want a lot of money for this on, on eBay. By a lot, I mean like in this condition, like $40, $50. So uh, the sticker on this book said it had a John Byrne autograph. And I looked through every page and the covers and everything. There is no autograph. But I was happy to pay six ninety five for this. Super good deal in this condition. And the last book I'm going to show this time around, <clears throat> uh, there's some speculation about this book, uh, Superior Spider-Man number 32. This is the first appearance of a team of characters called the Spider-Man. It's either the Spider-Man Army or the Spider Army. I think it's the Spider Army. Um, yeah, so with all these spider characters popping up in the MCU with Edge of Spider-Verse and or uh, whatever the movie is <laughs> with Miles Morales. Um, uh, some people are speculating that the Spider Army will show up. And um, right now, this book doesn't go for a whole lot on eBay, like $10, $15, I think. Uh, I found this for $1.50, so happy about that. And there you go, go, guys. That's my haul this time around. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you all next time. Happy hunting, everybody.